Today I'm going to teach you how to use the mending stitch on your sewing machine. This is great to fix torn garments or worn out areas such as these in the knees of my son's pants. So essentially darning is a way to replace almost the fibers in your fabric with threads. So it's stitching it over and over and kind of making it look like a filled in fabric but using the stitching on your sewing machine. So the first step that you're gonna to need to do is to reinforce the back side of the worn out area with some fusible interfacing. So I have cut out a piece of fusible interfacing that's bigger than the size that I want mended. I have my pants turned inside out so that I can fuse this on the inside of the pants so it won't be seen on the right side. And I've also given myself some markings to where this interfacing should be pressed so it covers the most worn out parts that I want to sew. So I'm gonna put the fusible piece face down against the inside bad side of the um, pant. So making sure those bumps or the shiny side of your fusible interfacing is down. And then you're gonna hold down the iron for about 10 to 20 seconds on a high heat with no steam to fuse this in place. So I'm gonna put a press cloth down and then holding that for 10 to 20 seconds, iron the interfacing in place. I did wanna mention that I've rounded my corners of my interfacing. That's a nice technique to remember to do just because it prevents a sharp corner from showing through and wearing through on the good side with more and more wear. So always having soft edges is ideal when doing repairs to holes or tears. On this specific model of sewing machine, we're gonna use stitch number 27. This is your darning stitch. So to get to that on your sewing machine, we're gonna go arrow down until it says 27. It's quicker to go arrow down than arrow up through the whole um, numbers. This automatically adjusts everything for you. It does help to have a buttonhole foot on it. It has feed dogs on the top and bottom to feed your uh, fabric through for you. Um, we're going to remove our accessory compartment so that it is uh, easier for you to put your leg around um, so that you don't sew front and back together. But if you don't have a darning stitch on your sewing machine that looks like stitch 27, you can simply put it on a straight stitch and then just go forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards using your reverse button. Just trying to keep your stitching as straight as possible. This function on an electronic sewing machine is nice because it will do a three quarter length darning stitch by about a one centimeter wide at a time. Um, really nice and straight next to each other. And so that makes it easier and, and just a better finished result for a mending stitch. The hardest part about mending sometimes is getting into where the worn out hole is without getting anything caught up around it or below it. So once you've positioned it, you are going to drop your foot and it's going to automatically do what's called a mending stitch. So it does the three quarters. I am not touching anything on this. It's going back and forth and back and forth. And so what it's doing is it's sort of repairing the weak area of the fabric with a really close together stitch that goes back and forth. Almost creating fabric with thread. So it will stop automatically. I'll pull this out so you can see what it's done. It's a little hard to see. Of course you do want matching thread so it's at least visible as possible. So it's slowing down to stop. There we go, we would lift our foot up and pull it out and I'll show you what this looks like. So this was the first go at the darning stitch and you can tell right here where the actual hole in these knees were that the machine has stitched back and forth nice and tightly together to replace it with thread. So from afar it's actually quite invisible and it almost goes with the grain in the rib of this um, knitted sweatshirt fleece for the sweatpants. So I'm gonna go and line it up now next to it and I'm gonna continue kind of reinforcing. Although these aren't holes yet, they shortly will become holes in a couple days, I'm sure. 
So just to strengthen the fabric, I'm going to do the darning stitch wherever I see sort of a worn out look. And that's why I cut a piece of interfacing that was a bit bigger of a rectangle. So it would cover this whole sort of worn out area where holes are starting to form. So after going over all the worn out spots on these knees with the darning stitch, you can see how the stitching has just filled in those raw spots with thread and it has definitely made that a lot more sturdy uh, for a few more wears, hopefully. So that's how you use the darning stitch on your sewing machine. It's a great way to reinforce fabrics and to mend small holes. If you didn't have such a large hole like this and you just maybe had a small wearing spot and you didn't need a three quarter inch long uh, stitch, what you would do is you would put it in your machine the exact same way and then as soon as it started, wherever the length is that you wanted it, so let's say you only wanted it to go back a centimeter, you would just hit your reverse button and it would start to change and come forward and then it knows and tells the machine that that's the length of a darning stitch you want to do and it wouldn't continue back all the way to the three quarter length that its default um, is set to. So that's a way to sort of customize the darning stitch for smaller mends. I hope you enjoyed this video and that now you can repair a bunch of your old clothes.